Dear yeah, friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over Actionable Alpha Part 3. I've got great feedback from this series and so I've decided to continue doing it. As usual guys, nothing is financial advice in my videos and all the links will be in the description. Appreciate if you guys like and subscribe and share with your friends. This is the most alpha you're going to get in the video, at least according to me. So let's get straight into it. So Bonfida, which is a name service, so you have, you know, Ethereum name service on Ethereum. This is on um, Solana, gonna, they're doing an airdrop for people that own .sol domain. If you're interested in that, you know, you can look into this. Then we have Saga, they've announced their airdrop as well. I believe this is their second airdrop, they've done one previously. I don't really follow the project, but I know this is a gaming project on top of Cosmos. And I wasn't eligible when I first checked it, not that I interacted with them. So this is the claims, claims.airdrop.saga.z. Claim and you just connect your wallet and see if you're eligible, etc. Next up, we have uh, Mystical Network. I don't know too much about this project, apart from they claiming to be a ZK layer on Web3. They've also announced their airdrop checker. So if you have interacted with this or you think you're eligible, you can go on this website, dao.mystical.network forward slash airdrop. And here you can check your allocation and get more details about that. Next up, we have a Layer 0. So Layer 0 is one of the most hyped bridges the most well-funded tier one investors etc in the crypto space and brian he's the founder of layer zero and he's been transparently talking about and getting feedback from the community about the cyber list so cyber if you've been farming with multiple wallets and they know that you've like they, you've got connected wallets and you know it's not meant to be one wallet per person or a few wallets not like you know someone that's farming like hundreds of wallets or 50 wallets etc so they've been periodically re releasing addresses. So if you were in that address address list, you can, you know, try to dispute or talk to them about it, etc. So they've done many lists, but this seems to be the final list. This was just announced. Um, this is 19 technically now because it's 4 a.m. in the morning, but this day the 18th, one day before that. And it seems like the airdrop is very close because they've done recently a few, a few updates. So this is another update that they've done on the 16th. But the reason why I say that is because they say that the checker is live. Now I did check. I didn't see anything. I'll I'll try to update in my next video on my Telegram. But they say the airdrop checker is going to be live on the 18th. So that's the you know that proves that it's going to be very soon. Here, someone found a Layer Zero Foundation as well. It's a fresh one. Hardly has any followers, etc. So it looks like they're prepping for the airdrop announcement. There's a website here, Windsor.xyz. You can actually check your address. You just put your address in here, and it will tell you you know if you're on the cyber list or not. Next up, we have a list of airdrop. I believe I might have mentioned this in the last video as well, but it seems like it's live to claim now or very, very soon. So the website is lista.org forward slash airdrops. Next up, ZK Sync. So I just want to give a brief, quick update on my ZK Sync. I did claim the tokens. I didn't. Do it. I'm pretty much sticking to what I said in the actual ZK Sync airdrop. If you guys, a few a few videos ago, I done a video on my strategy and prediction, etc. My plan is to hold at this price. I believe it's like 20, 25 cents. Around that, I'm just going to hold or buy more. If it goes over 60, 70 cents, the market's really down now. We might actually pick up and I'll talk to you why it might pick up actually at the end. There's really big news that come out actually just now, just before I recorded this video. It's for those that are wondering, I haven't sold it. I'll probably start thinking about selling over 60, 70 cents. Until then, I'm just going to hold, probably try to, uh, you know, use it for different things, etc. But yeah. Next up, we have Doodle X Base. Uh, so it's a collaboration between Doodles and Base. You probably want to mint this on the Base chain. So Base chain is the cheapest chain that I realize right now. I I done it on Base and Zora so that I can increase my Zora footprint as well. This is an official collaboration and official by Doodles. So we definitely want to do this because it might increase your airdrop chances on Base and Zora. So definitely check that one out. And so once you've done that, make sure you claim your cube on layer three. All you have to do is that actual mint and then you can claim these cubes and points etc on a layer three we have another one another official uh, official nft by now if you haven't heard of them i also just discovered them recently they're using lens protocol to make a uh, web free social media and, and they haven't got a token out so this is their official token here I'm sorry this is their official nft here and you can mint this as well i would mint it on most likely zora or base i think base is cheaper so this is another one that I've done also. And next up, we have Forma. So I've done a video on Astria. Astria, the, they have a project that's built on top called Forma, which is a NFT uh, chain and like Zora. And they've got some, they've, got, they've done some drops before in the past. And some of the drops have done really well. So in my video, I talked about this one. This one was unlimited. I believe now you can't mint it anymore. And the, it was for 0.5 tier. This one done 2.2x 
Then you had these ones. These ones were, I think, capped to 555 yet. So they were capped to 555. And they 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 done like really well. In one day, it went to like 50, 60 TR. Now it's 70 TR, as you can see. So, and then I did also mint this one. I think, yeah, I minted this one. I believe I didn't mint these because they were time sensitive, etc. I missed it. I might have mentioned it in my Telegram. So the next one is capped to 3,000 and there's only one tier. I believe it's around in UK time, around four or five London time. So definitely try to mint this if you can. It's probably going to go very fast. But if you can get in, you know, judging by these, this one, which was capped at 500, it done really well. I know because this done really well, people are going to assume this is going to do really well. So I guess you get the drift. So yeah, therefore ch check that out. It's around 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, UK time. And this is just a video I done about Astria. If you want to know more about it, Modular Crypto on uh, Celestia Tech. So if you want to know more about Astria, you can definitely check that. Next up, we have Aligned. So this is another project. It wasn't enough for me to do a separate video because there's just not enough on it. And I think it's a quite developer focused, but there is a Galaxy task you can do. So here you can see the Galaxy task, follow up a lot, join join watch uh, read and there's a quiz so i've actually for some reason i think it didn't this one didn't work for me but i'm going to get back to it even though i did go and subscribe to the blog etc but the the uh, the quiz i have got the answers i put the answers for you there's like i believe there's six questions i've given the answers so that will be in the description and then make sure make sure you complete your hit the task complete and i think they hit points or something like that just make sure you do that next up we have a caldera so caldera is another project that i done a video on and they've done a campaign for eight weeks. I believe this is the last week. And they've just, they're on the last week now. And they've got some tasks. It's very easy, straightforward, follow, like, join their Discord and visit. So this is another project, not actually Caldera. And so, yeah, make sure you claim it. I claim my all and points. So, yeah, make sure you do that. It's very straightforward. Next up, we have, this is my video on Caldera. If you guys are interested, you can check that out. Next up, we have a bridge. So there's no point making a whole video or post about a new bridge. So this is quite underfound as well. And they're claiming to be one of the fastest, cheapest bridges. So I've just added this website to my daily list. So I won't do bridges every day, but when I need to, I can use this bridge to start farming because it's very early and un it's not very saturated because those are the kind of airdrops that will give you the most alpha, guys. So I'm sorry, the biggest airdrop. So yeah, this one, the, the website is relay.link. You just connect your wallet and as you can see there's like a lot of different chains that they support so the chain they support a lot of l2s etc then you have yeah they support a lot of chains so therefore keep that in mind and you, they don't have a token yet so it's probably the best time to start using them if you need to try out with a burner wallet etc next up we have lava networks which i also done a video about in the past but they're saying that their magma points is over for season one so that's just a update fyi for you guys next up we have a jumper so jumper is basically collaborative gnosis which is the og crypto ethereum based project and they they recently done a collaboration with zirion where if you had the zirion app on your phone you could claim a free card i believe the i believe the code to get the free card was non-custodial human something along those lines and it was the same code for everyone and you could use that code to get a free card and now they're saying that you can get a free card if you have a top tier level 11 above etc so Check this out. I also I ordered the Zirion one. I'm not going to order this one. And uh, you know, if, if you need a crypto card, it, I, I I believe it works in the UK as well because I ordered mine. And so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out. Next up, I just want to say Ethereum gas are like dirt cheap. Sometimes it drops to like two, three guai. So if you need to do anything on airdrop or move funds around, etc., now is a very good time because it's extremely cheap compared to usual. Next up, we have Photon. So Photon announced that they're going to do a they, their token is coming, which means most likely people that are using their platform are going to get rewarded, etc. Um, if you don't know what they are, they'll be a trading terminal. So think of it like similar like trading view, but it's very good to snipe tokens. They're very fast. One of the fastest tools that I've used that I personally know about in the Solano ecosystem. So therefore check them out if you're doing trading in any way and you're interested in their token. I'll put my link in the description if you guys are interested in that. Karak, I have another project. i done a video on them. They're introducing CUDA, which is Karak Universal Data Availability. So... I don't know too much about this personally, but just a quick FYI because it's another update from a project I've talked about in the past. Next up, we have Sonic, which is a gaming focused L2 on Solana. They've raised 12 million Series A, 100 million valuation. I believe that's quite interesting and therefore want to keep an eye on. Next up, we have Ellis, which is also I've done a video on. They raised 2.5 million recently so for some 
decent investors and i've also got a video on them you could just check my channel oh yeah actually i've got it here yeah the, I, I believe the task was very easy to do so definitely do this is all free tasks that you need to do next up we have restaking protocol renzo so renzo is another protocol like swell and kelp dao etc so these restaking protocols that were all born by eigenlayer itself they've just raised 17 million for some tier one investors including galaxy ventures and braven howard lastly we have a big news it just came out now just before i was actually recording this video us sec closes investigation in ethereum 2.0 major win for industry the ETH etf rumors have you know come up for quite a while and then afterwards they died down a bit and then recently they came up and you know it this this should have happened a long time ago but i guess yeah, better late than never and i think this is big news this news alone could turn the market around it can make a bullish thing because ethereum's number second and biggest cryptocurrency out there and by by market cap and so yeah this is just really bullish news guys i'm really glad that this has happened i know a lot of countries follow the u.s legislation and regulation so hopefully this should be a, a big win for the whole crypto industry hey guys hope you got some value from this video and i'll see you in the next one